tell you that surprise, I want to teach you all a word. So I'm going to tell you a word, and I would like you to repeat that word. The word is legacy. Legacy! Very good. One more time. You don't have to do it louder. I just want to hear everybody this time. Legacy. Legacy! Legacy! Okay. The word legacy means how you are remembered after you leave. So when you leave somewhere, how do people remember you? Do they think that you were good and you did good stuff or that you didn't? Sometimes you can leave actual something physical. So you leave and something that you gave is still there. For instance, how many of you, and a lot of you were too young for this, but because it was about four years ago, but how many of you remember collecting pennies for Mr. Phil to get that red picnic table? A lot of kids remember. How many of you know about the red picnic table or at least seen it in the multi or by the lunch tables? Right. So Mr. Phil has been at this school for a long time, like over 30 years he's been at this school. So we wanted to give something to Mr. Phil in case he ever can't be here. When he retires or he leaves, we wanted to give him something to always remember that Mr. Phil was part of Monroe. So we all raised money as a school and we bought that picnic table for him and we surprised him and we had a band and it meant a lot to him, right? Well, fifth grade this year wanted to give something back because they're going on to sixth grade, right? They're going on to their middle schools next year, but they've been at Monroe for five or six years and they wanted to give something to you guys as a school. And that's what you're going to find out about today. But to do that, they had to raise a lot of money. And you guys helped, even though you didn't know. How many of you went to the color run? Okay, put your hands down. If you went to the color run, next time you're going to go stand there and be embarrassed. Um, if you went to the color run, you helped to get what you're going to see today. Because we got $500 because the city of Palm Desert was so happy we had so many kids. So we're going to do the color run next year again, and I hope you all come. And if you didn't get to come this year, I hope you get to come next year. How many of you had hot chocolate from Coco Loco? Okay, put your hands down. If you bought any hot chocolate from Coco Loco, you helped to buy what you're going to see in a little bit. Okay, you guys all helped. The fifth grade also sold CDs um, at Christmas time to raise more money. And we took all that money and put it together to um, buy something special for the school. But before we show you what that is, Mr. Uh, we have some wonderful fifth graders that are gonna tell you a few facts. Hello. Hey everybody, did you know today is Earth Day? No. Earth Day is a day we set aside every year to remember how important it is for us to take care of our beloved Earth. The Earth is our humble home and something we need to take care of. One way to take care of our Earth is by cutting down on pollution everywhere. Did you know that each year in America, we drink 8.6 billion gallons of water? No, no. no I didn't. Disposable water uh, no. Bottles? No. Mm, no. And it takes over 17 million gallons of oil to make all those water bottles. Yeah. Yeah. That's enough oil to power 190,000 cars, and that's from the U.S. alone. Oh, and sadly, only one in five water bottles are recycled every year in our ecosystem. And here, and here is where the big surprise comes in. Do you remember the word that Mr. Manderfeld taught you? Yeah. Legacy. 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 Well, the fifth, <laughs> well, the fifth grade mm -hmm. wanted to provide a legacy for Monroe. So it worked extra hard to raise the money to get something we really needed at Monroe. Something that provides ice cold, filtered water, helps the school, and helps the environment. Really? What is it? A water filling station! Wait, wait, wait. Come on, dude. So, My arm's dying here. So, the, um... You need a tripod. The Roberts, both, we have three Roberts here. So let's stand up. Spencer, yeah. the Roberts, we have three triplets here. We have Emma, Spencer, and Jackson. And their mom came up with the idea at the beginning of the year that Monroe should have a water filling station. So they get to unveil it. So go ahead, peel it off. There it is.
fifth grade apparently. Okay, so let me show you how it works. I know that some of you can't see, but listen, we're all gonna be out of your way in a minute. Where are you gonna do that? So, it has ice cold. Oh my God, focus. It has ice cold filtered water, so it has a special filter. Um, kind of like your refrigerators do so the water will taste better and it's refrigerated so it's very cold like those water fountains are never very cold that's why we want it cold water so Cameron is going to get a drink of ice cold water hey let me get a shot let me get a shot move this man oh it's so good and oh that, my god oh my the god part, though. I love your sarcasm this is how we are going to provide and help the environment by getting recycled bottles, you can use your same water bottle to refill it. So show them how you can fill the water bottle. Wait, I can't see! See, there you just go. push the button and it fills it. Can you? All right. So, thank you for listening. Good job. All right, good. Let's have all of you walk.